Hi everyone, my name is Angela Hobson and I am the Assistant Dean for Public Health at the Brown School. And I also have the pleasure of being the specialization chair for our generalist specialization. And I would first like to thank you so much for your interest in the NPH degree at the Brown School. And I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about what the generalist specialization is and why you might choose it as you start your professional journey with us. So the generalist MPH is a rigorous MPH degree that is not focused in any one particular specialization area. And being a generalist might be for you if you want a little bit more flexibility or more options for electives and practicum. And this is the number one option um, why our students typically choose the generalist MPH. It might be for you also if you are interested in two or more of our other specialization areas and would like to gain knowledge and skills from a combination of those areas. So our other specialization areas at the Brown School are mental and behavioral health, urban design, epidemiology and biostatistics, health policy analysis, and global health. So what you do as a generalist is you select competencies from these other specializations and you take the courses that meet those specific competencies. So in this regard, you really are kind of tailoring your degree um, to meet the interest areas that you are more, more interested in. Um, you may also want to be a generalist if you, your specific interest areas aren't completely aligned with one of our other offered specializations and we can work with you to try to tailor um, your education to meet your specific needs. And you also might need to be a generalist if you are a dual or joint degree student at the Brown School. And the reason why is because it is quite difficult to specialize on the NPH side when you are a dual or joint degree student because in order to do the du dual or joint degree, we offer it in less time to, to complete those two degrees than it would to be to take those um, or to complete those two degrees individually. So we do some credit sharing between the degrees. So we will take nine or 10 credits from your other degree program to apply the, and apply them to your MPH degree requirements. And typically we would take those, those would be the nine or 10 credits that you would use to meet the specialization requirements of one of the other specializations. So it's difficult to specialize if you are a dual or joint degree student. It doesn't mean it can't happen, but if you do want to be a specializer, if you are a dual or joint degree student, it takes a lot of early and consistent communication and planning with your academic advisor and both of your schools to make sure that the sequencing will work for you, that you are on track to meet all of your degree requirements of both degrees, and that you are not going over your credit caps in any one given semester. Um, so what does the generalist specialization prepare you to do? I always tell our students that it's not necessarily the specialization that is going to land you your dream job. It really is the MPH. That is the professional degree. That is what is going to open the door for you for your next steps in your professional journey after you do your graduate training. All of our MPH degrees, no matter what your specialization is, is competency-based. So all of our students are meeting a set of foundational public health competencies. And then each of our specializations have unique, unique competencies that go above and beyond those foundational competencies. And all of our students are gaining critical skills for public health practice or research settings. So um, being a generalist really can um, open the door for you for all kinds of practice and research. And it doesn't limit you um, just because you are not selecting a specific specialization area. You're, you're gaining an MPH and that's the professional degree that opens many doors for you um, moving forward in your journey. So again, why might you be a generalist at the Brown School? It really is an opportunity to tailor your MPH to your specific interest areas. Um, again, if you are interested in both global health and health policy analysis, for instance, you get to select competencies from both of those areas and take courses from both of those areas to meet your specific interests. Uh, many degree programs um, don't offer a general, generalist or individualized option 
And that's what this really is. It's individualized to meet your specific interests. Um, and in that regard, you get access to faculty and multiple specializations and disciplines, and you get um, to choose from extensive coursework options at the Brown School to really meet those indiv individualized interests of yours. So if you have any questions about the generalist specialization, please feel free to reach out to me. I've put my contact information here. I also encourage you to take a look at the other specialization overview so you get a good idea of what we offer in our other specializations as well. And again, if you have any questions about the generalist specialization or about the NPH in general or the Brown School, um, I'm always happy to answer questions. So please do feel free to reach out to me. Thanks so much. And I really look forward to connecting with you soon.